Hello and welcome to the Britpart Lynx video set. In this video we're going to show you how to use your Lynx diagnostics tool with the interface device to read codes for the injectors and then read code the injectors themselves for the TD5 engines. Right, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're connected and you have your two lights on, which is power and USB connection. Then you can go into your uh, diagnostic tools by clicking on the logo and powering it up. First thing you're going to get is your warning. You have to accept it, otherwise you can't use it. And then click start. It should connect to the vehicle with no problems and it will ask you to wait. If you find yourself with this information, it's a prompt to tell you that you do not have enough voltage in your battery and you can't make a connection. Generally, if your battery is in good condition, it should be okay, or you could use a battery charger or something that will supply battery power to your vehicle while you're using the diagnostic kit. And this is recommended that your battery is at 12 volts and above. Okay, so we'll start properly this time. Connect to the vehicle and uh, give it time to think. Once you're in the vehicle selection icons, you can go ahead and select your vehicle. We'll first have a look at the Discovery 2. You have a large selection here and you want to be looking at EMS, which is Engine Management System. So you click on that, bring it through to the next section, which will give you your engine selection of either a V8 or the TD5. So you can click on that. There are two options for the Defender, which is the L316, and you'll find that this is the Puma model. The other icon is the Defender, which will have the TD5 engine in it. You get less facilities than on the Discovery 2, however you still want engine management system. 14 CUX and GEMS is for the V8s, and you want the TD5 for the diesel injectors. Follow the command prompts on the screen which tells you to turn your ignition on initially and then click accept which will then take you through and it will interface with the vehicle. You will then find this screen which will tell you that you're ready to move up to the top bar which will find selections, fault codes, live data, actuator tests. For reading and coding injectors you want special functions so click that and that will bring you up to programming. Click through programming and you're going to find the two facilities we're going to do today. Set injector and read injector. What we'll do is quickly run through read injector, which you click through. You've now found the codes for each of the injectors from 1 to 5. As you click through, each of these will have a code on them. Each code is 5 digits long. Codes are found on top of the injector. After you've removed the loom clip and you've obviously cleaned the oil off, you'll see the codes on top for each one. Because these injectors run at very fine tolerances, the codes tell the ECM to make adjustments for that particular injector. There are also different color codings, so stick with the ones that you've got. The injectors need to go back in exactly the same place Otherwise, if you've swapped them about, you need to make a note of what cylinder they're at, the code number, and then recode them. Likewise, if you replace an injector, you will need to recode it, and this is what we're going to show you now. Okay, so read injector facility. Again, under special functions, programming. Looking at the facilities we have, we are looking for the fourth one down, which is set injector. So now we have the facility to be able to tell the ECM what the injector code is. For this video tutorial we're going to set injector number 1. Just a reminder that the injector has a 5 digit code on it and this is the code that we need. For the purpose of this video the code for this injector is NFDLL. So when you have this interface up what you're looking at is the first digit you have scroll through bars and you can scroll through to get the right digit in this case the first one is N I've checked that to say yes okay so I can bring the second one up which will be F you scroll through till you get it Look, we've got that and then click again and it is just a process of going through each one until you have set the whole code 
NFDL, NFDLL. So you have your five digits. Once you've got them, then you click through for the last time and that will bring you up to a prompt which you can say, yes, I want to store that on the ECU. It is now ready. Now we can check this by read injector. Looking at injector with number one, which is telling us that we have the right code, NFDLL. You can then scroll through the rest of the injectors, checking the codes to make sure that they correspond to the ones you've fitted. If not, go through and set injectors for each one that you need to. Once you've finished, you can then come out of the program, and then that's it, your injectors are ready.